Hey guys, this is Laundry112, and yeah, this is the major wash of the 9530W. I don't want to bore you with all the boil wash crap, so I've already done most of it, and this is a sods lock for all the good viewers. Yeah, it's my machine to keep, my machine to maintain, and my machine to have fun with. I think I might adjust the belt tension, to be honest. I probably should. Yeah. So, it's not going to run with any fabric softener until a little bit later. So, and I, I think everything should work out, as then it'll hold it. Which is, which should be okay. So, yeah, the classic machine, pushable timer, four options, no spin slider. Classic drawer, classic door, with the little press in handle. Oh, and also, I got another thing to show you guys. came with its original manual and that's the back plate but what happens to a washer when it's laying on its back in a car especially if it's got like really really delicate panels is that ladies and gentlemen so this side was shoved about an inch and a half backwards in the machine. You can, you can see how it's warped. That's just from the sheer weight of this machine and also the extra stress in the car. Um, the hot point 9544 is not going to be energised until I have fixed, as I said in... A couple of videos yeah one indicate uh, one switch stalk has snapped off entirely one is just hanging on by a thread see this other two fine so I don't know actually if these are interchangeable I'm sure that they are, but I'm not going to run a program at all because that's the wrong switch. That's a five-way switch, not a four-way. Also, I forgot to clip the top front in, so it, it flat. It. <laughs> I gave it a little suspension test after I changed the shock absorbers. Finally, uh, I gave it a little suspension test from the front. And the entire front plate dropped. And of course, my dumbass noticed, but if I'd have put that on a wash cycle, it would not have lasted 10 seconds. Anyway, 9530 again. So, this machine is one of the world's rarest. And for it to pop up on eBay in 2020, is incredible for a 15 year old boy to win it at the same time is even more incredible so it's got actually it's got eight no it's got seven official programs and then there's pre-wash which is sort of an extra and then you got long spin and short spin so i think they're both at a thousand rpm i've only done long spins so I can't really tell. And here we go. Really hope that this thing doesn't go nuts. I damn hope this thing doesn't go. What? Did you guys just see how far the suspension was moving? I need to put some WM shocks on this. Look at this. It's like, 
Oh my god. I'm just gonna... I just advanced it myself because I do not want to see that. Anyway, so the 9530 is going to be putting my utility in the place of the candy, which is shit. This is some serious British engineering. This is what a washer was in the early 1980s. More sort of mid 1980s. And if any of the kids at school really want to know, shut up about saying that these interlocks can catch fire because you don't know your facts and I do so I'd rather prefer that you keep your opinions to yourself and stop expressing them in such a bad way but as well as that the trims are slightly broken on this side and on the other side I'm not really worried about the other side I'm slightly more worried about this side you know why? Because uh, this little niblet, I'm thinking, if I rub my hand across here, I'm going to slice my finger open on that little tip of plastic there, or that bit there. So I'm going to replace it with the Hoppock 9544's um, original Litrums, as well as uh, possibly having a little look into... Maybe a, a little shock absorber change. Actually, the 9544s are worse. Oh, wait, no, not on that side. That's, I'm looking at the back of it. I'm thinking it's the front. Stupid me. Anyway, so, yeah, I don't really mind about the rear of these. I do not really mind as they don't really bother me. But it's the front of them that seriously do. Anyway, look at this. I did... I did show you this in the reveal of my classics collection of machines oh god this is so heavy Ugh. let's go put it down seriously look at this that is what 30 years of low temperature washers does to a machine or at least i think low temperature washers but on the other note, I keep forgetting where the drum is. There it is. That's a little PSA of what will happen with a hot point machine if you run it with really bad detergents for too long. Also, I think I got the original cast spider somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, I probably put it in my parts bin. Oh, there it is. It was silver. Oh, and now it's white. With lime scale. Or, or at least I think this is some sort of strange lime scale type deposit. It's terrifying what... Oh. It is truly terrifying what a long time running a long time with crappy detergents gets you. It gets you that. Uh, also, it gets you bad bearings. Also, if you leave it in a house without properly maintaining it all its life and keeping the door shut, that's also another reason why that drum rusted excess moisture also here's another thing you keep it sitting for so long and don't just you know go to the house and turn the drum a little the motor bearings go dry this sounds like a regular GEC but I can tell I don't know if anybody else could but I can tell when this when I turn that drum that these motor bearings are a bit dry so as well as that there's the little case of, um, as well as that, if you're seriously thinking of getting one of these Hot Point 95 series machines, get them probably within the next two or three years, because I'll be gone by like 2025. As well as that, 
all the ridiculously annoying, seriously bad economic solutions have put these machines at a low point. Sorry, that's just the uh, it's just a steam from the boiler. Yeah, sorry if you see a little cloud. That's just steam from the boiler, but seriously, idiotic people have now called these machines basically just the lowest rated possible. You know what? If anybody seriously wants to piss me off about a Hot Point 95 series, I'll throw a motor in your. F I'll throw a motor at the back of the heads. Because I swear to God, if these things are the. Are honestly, like, the bottom line. <laughs> then. These pieces of shit are going to end up at the top of the line. When in reality, it should be the opposite way around. Shit wash performance, shit rinse performance, perfect water consumption, because it uses, like, like a new offense syringe's worth of water per, like, 600,000 cycles. It's so shit, I can't actually believe it. It's almost like an American scam. It's like the HE washers in America, they're so crappy. And I don't know why people are actually still buying them. But that, customizable, a decent amount of water. Even though it's only 1600 watts, a reasonable heating element for the actual size of the machine. Also, you only get two compartments, which is technically a bad thing, but it's also a good thing. Because you have the power to do whatever you want, detergent wise, with this thing. It's multi, it's sort of like a multi operation type of thing. It will operate in so many different ways, it's unbelievable. I can put it into a service mode right now with such an unbalanced load, it could probably blow up this entire kitchen and uh, this entire utility. And what happens? It still works. Modern quality isn't always shit, children. Think before buying one of these. But also, consider buying one of these if you're a small family. Three kilograms may not sound like a lot, but in reality, 27 litres goes a long way. But on a better note, 40 litres does as well. 40 litres can go a much longer way than many people actually think. In fact, just because I want to show my appreciation for the 95 series, I'm going to grab my ass some fabric softener. Uh-huh. Some comfort fabric softener. It's almost like an exotic perfume to me. You gotta place them gently because if not, then well, whatever. I'm always getting dripped on from that overflow pipe all the way up there. You see those two little nibblers up there? One of them is just open because the tank, uh, the water tank in the attic overflowed, which is nice. Not, but anyway, it, luckily it wasn't like water that was too hot like it wasn't steaming like steaming hot so i'm okay with it really but it's kind of annoying at the same time so i think that should be enough i i normally do a bit more fabric stuff for towels anyway but i do sometimes do like a f a full cap of softener I think that's actually on the max line. Although, I don't know. It's like, I'll probably get uh, a siphon tube off a of WM just to show me where the maximum line is because I can't see one on this siphon tube. Anyway, uh, your spares kind of conned me a little bit, but kind of not. It's really strange. Okay, so I ordered a detergent dispenser for my 9544 and potentially this machine. But what I got was only the green siphon tube, not the actual tray. 
Turns out, uh, the manufacturer that was giving it to them had discontinued them. And yes, someone has asked me to do a little face reveal with my most expensive machine. So, hello, it's me, Laundry112, and this is my most expensive washer. Worth, maximum worth, a thousand pounds or more. More than a melee, folks. More than a melee. And it'll probably last a bit longer as well. Even though melee's quality has always been top notch, the controls of slightly like like literally the tiniest amount gone down i i seriously cannot stress the tiny amount of quality the controls have gone down yeah a friend of mine has a melee it's about 10 maybe 15 years old i don't know um it's not a wt745 it's sort of the same machine but it's got like a little display board i can't remember the actual model i keep forgetting uh, WT945, I think it is. Anyway, you saw the side trim here. It's sort of hanging off, so I'm going to swap it with the one off my Hotput 9544. That's again, like I said. Oh, wait, no, because that's the actual fascia side. Whoops. Oh, crap. That's the fascia side. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no. I think it's the draw side, actually. Hang on, let me go have a look. You know what? The best thing about owning 9.5 series washers is they're so, like, ridiculously trustworthy. I could probably tell by the front panel. Oh. Oh, that's just a suspension leg. Get, get out of here. You, you almost had the legs of, of the 9.5. Jump off, you little shitbag. No, I'm sorry for insulting you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, so that's the fascia side. I th yeah, that's the fascia side. And I guess you've seen it. That's the draw side. And we're going on the fascia side. So that's the rear. So that's the fascia side. And I'll bear that in mind when I whip the side trim off there um as well as that that's the old fr top front for the 9544 the wm one for the five kilogram aquarius drum and i hope that i can dissect this switch here and that one in there to sort of switch the little things around rewire them so i can get my glorious 95 working again i really hope i can because Little boyo is not going to be happy if not. Anyway, so, yeah. The 9.5 update for my YouTube channel is here. I have two. I'm going to go for three. 9,000 series machines by the end. I'm hoping to have the 9.544. The 9.530. And a washer dryer. If I can find one. But if not, it'll be a 9534, I think. Or maybe it'll be a Microtronic. Who knows? I don't. So, yeah. Again, this YouTube channel is going to go through some serious changes. Well, not serious changes, but seriously, anybody wanting to say hurtful things to me? Especially you, Belinda Ball. Yeah, two years ago, you got your channel banned, but I'm guessing you're probably still out there. But I'll say I said it in a live I said it in a live stream. I'll say it again. How do you like me now, bitch? Anyway, that's what you get for calling a twelve year old gay. Well, obviously, that's what she actually said. Your video is a gay. Yeah. Yeah, bad move, lady. Really bad move. So yeah, I took the inlet filters out of the 9544. There's one of them that didn't fit. That was actually for the hot valve. And here's one of the custom ones on for the 9530. Look at this. It's like 
strange. It's like hexagon shape, but look at all the mildew. Look at all this crap. Oh, crap. You saw all the crap, didn't you? In fact, let me just... Uh... Where the hell did that go? It's a mystery. Looking for... It's almost like looking for a needle in a haystack if you're upside down there. Ah, screw it. I'll just... I'll just get it later. Anyway, so you saw all the crap there. Uh, that's certain water areas. Yeah, my grandma's water's covered in literally full to the brim with mildew. Yeah, it's shit. Anyway, uh, little dryer. I need another one. This one isn't faulty at all. It's just, I need one more because I have so many washers. Uh, also, the whirlpool. Yes, it has a time of failure, I think, but it might just be the pressure switch fucking about with the timer. I love this dryer. Always loved it. Especially this. This is... I actually think that it is uh, the only Electra uh, 73713 uh, yeah. Uh, the only Electra 37 damn it. 37132 in preservation, I think. Also, my... Oh, no, that's Crusader. I said Electra. Whoops. Uh, also, my Electra spin dryer, even though it's got a slightly faulty switch where the lid, I think, like, rise high. You hear it? You hear the little... Weird click. That's the switch. <sighs> God. Oh yeah, and my service WL A fourteen HDW is dead. <laughs> it's been dead for about a year now. I'm gonna put a new board in it. Probably gonna get a new dispenser housing. I just haven't sourced any parts yet because none are available. Because nobody seems to have the goddamn parts for. A service washer whatsoever oh i think i hear a a gc motor hitting a thousand rpm around here oh yeah you can hear that can't you oh god help me lord oh, oh that's what it's done it's just gone over god that so yeah, um, timer-driven monsters pushing 1300, 1400 RPM is a good idea, not. Uh, they seem to eat motor bearings, spiders, and drum bearings, well, no. They eat motor bearings for breakfast, drum bearings for dinner, and spider brackets for dessert. They like to eat your socks. They are very vicious. May I add. Yeah, the boiler's working on overdrive. Yeah. Let's get little drops from that. Your leaf valve. Oh, and unlike the candy, the glass gets entirely dry on this. Also, there's the normal, like average. 30 second, 30, 40, 50 second wait to open the door. Look at how much those shocks are moving. And this one has a, this machine hasn't moved an inch. That is British engineering. British engineering, son. You must learn it. Yes. Um, this one's got a molded plug, which is beautiful. There we go. So, yeah, um, that was the Maiden Wash of the Hot Point 9530. Um, I hope you like those suds locks, because I did. It's just, oh my god, I can smell it from here. I'm like a foot away from it. Like a foot and a half away from it. And I can smell those. Look at those shock absorbers, though. Look at how much they're moving. They be moving. They grooving. <laughs> They're grooving. 
Yeah. So, anyway, see you guys later.